So if you log into to WHM and you're running and you, and you have cPanel and you're running Apache, you will see Accelerate WordPress here. If for some reason you don't, uh, please make sure that you've updated to the latest version of uh, LVE Manager. So I'm going to go ahead and, and enable Accelerate WordPress. Um, if you have PHP X-Ray auto tracing turned off, you may see a different screen here. Um, it's highly, highly recommended to enable uh, PHP, I'm sorry, X-Ray auto tracing uh, in order to use Accelerate WordPress. It's really the meat of the value of Accelerate WordPress. Without that data, Smart Advice doesn't have a lot to go on. So it's, a, it's important to, to enable X-ray auto tracing. So if you don't have it enabled, you're gonna get a, a, a different screen here that advises strongly that you enable that. So I'm gonna go ahead and enable Accelerate WordPress. That's gonna take uh, roughly, I think it's three seconds per 100 users, uh, if I'm not mistaken, but it's gonna take a few seconds to turn that on. I'm gonna show you here the cPanel interface on the same server. This is the user's view, user perspective. As you can see, there is not an Accelerate WordPress plugin page here yet. Um, after this loads, you'll see that it will be enabled for all users on the server. Uh, give it one more second here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and refresh and we'll see the Accelerate WordPress uh, page appear here. I'm gonna open it up. It's going to take a second to load. I'm also going to uh, load the WordPress dashboard because now we'll see some tools here for giving advice to the WordPress administrator. So this is also important for, for my next point. So after this loads, uh, we're going to see some advice generated. I do want to, I do want to stress that this advice here is preloaded. When you go, if you were to go to one of your servers, your OS Pro servers now, and enable Accelerate WordPress, it's going to take some time to start generating advice. It's going to be collecting data. This isn't all going to be instant, so I just want to make sure that that's clear. It takes a little bit of time to collect the data and start generating the advice, but obviously for purposes of this demo, that's been preloaded. So as you can see, uh, there's advice available in cPanel for the cPanel user. There's advice available in WordPress for the WordPress administrator. And as well for the server admin, they can click here on smart advice and search for a domain or a username and find the advice available here as well. So from all three interfaces, you can enable, you can view and enable the smart advice. And we're gonna go ahead and do it from the cPanel UI. You can see all of these pages that are expected to be sped up. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this advice. That's going to take a bit of time. What this is doing is it's installing the plugin in WordPress and it's running a few more uh, backend processes to, uh, to optimize the performance. Okay, so now that that's installed and deployed, you can see that there's a rollback button here so that if, uh, if anyone finds a problem with the installation or it's created some issue, which shouldn't happen, we're you know, working regularly to identify conflicts and that's really on us to make sure that, that, that those things don't happen, especially because we have that data. Um, but it is you know, something that you can roll back from here. You can roll it back from the WordPress interface. I'll refresh this screen. You can see here that, it's, uh, that there's a rollback button now and the same thing in WHM. Um, you, will, you will no longer see the turn on Accelerate WordPress link here on the right side but you will see details. And from the details screen, you can roll it back just, just as you can from cPanel. Let me go ahead and load the Accelerate WordPress plugin. So yeah, so you see now that it's applied in, in cPanel, I'm sorry, in WHM, you can click details and you can roll it back from there as well. 